Hey guys, it's Rachel here. Oh, so this oh, am I supposed to do that too, or just no, it's okay. okay. <laughs> but this week I'm back with Mariana. You guys love it when she's in my videos. She's visiting me for the weekend, so yes. we thought we'd film a few. So this week we're going to be doing something a little more fun rather than the casual, like serious acting tip videos we usually do, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this week we're going to be doing the actor tag, which was created by Brittany Joyle, who used to make a lot of like acting videos on YouTube and stuff, and I used to be really inspired by all of her acting videos, so I thought we would do this tag it's basically just a list of questions that talk about acting personal experiences stuff like that all right so we're just going to do the list of questions that Brittany created we did half of them on mariana's channel which is the acting health nut definitely go check that out and we're doing part two on my channel and on each video we added a couple of our own questions that we came up that kind of have to do with like personal acting experience related things and yeah. whatever so it's a great time we wanted to add more questions so yeah so let's just get started with the first question for the second part of all this video. right all right number one if you could replace any actor from any tv show or movie and have their part what would it be i know what you're going to say Okay, I'm stuck between Maya Mitchell from The Fosters yes. and Sierra Ramirez from The Fosters. Yes. You know, who plays Mariana. I'm Mariana. But I think that Callie is such a stretch. Like, yeah. it would be such a complex so, character to play. Like, cool. I literally had the same answer. So, yeah. like, so pretty much the same. same. Or I would totally play Moana. <laughs> <laughs> no, Monica from Friends. Really? Yeah. I've maybe. hardly seen Friends. I love Friends. Ooh. You guys are gonna think I'm the weirdest person ever. Kevin from The Office. Yeah. I've <laughs> That's never me. seen The That's Office. That's me. What do you see me as? Like, what would you cast to me as in a show? Like, a specific character. Like, who okay. do you think I could play? Like, what kind of show? Huh? Huh? I could totally see you playing, like, on Liv and Maddie or something. You could play, like, anything, though. Like, you have that. A Ability to like do any kind of character. Oh, thank you, girl. Welcome. You too, Thanks, girl. Aww. I I thought you were gonna say that you would be um the girl in the game plan, who Madison Pettis played. Yeah. All right. What is your dream movie role? What kind of role would you want to play in a movie? My dream movie role. I would just love to do I don't know, like you know, like woman power type thing. Like not not feminist exactly, but but kind of Moana esque. Like, yes, like Moana esque. She, she doesn't yes, need like, no man. Exactly. Like, she's on that's her own. Me. She's conquering the Independent world. Independent, conquering the world. Right. I love that. Like I would that's love good. to have a character like that, like yeah. a strong female role. If I had to pick like a dream movie role, I would either choose a scary movie. I have always wanted to be in a scary movie. I think that would be so fun and like challenging and like such a creative process to like see how it comes together you know like I, I really want to do that in the future wow. and also I would love to be in a chick flick like I would I love to be in a chick flick. I would love to get me in Augustus Waters number eight TV shows or movies so like TV Dang. or movie like would you want to work in TVs no, that's the wrong one. TVs. TVs? Would you want to work in TVs? Would you want to work in television or movies? Well, I love both. I have different feelings about both. I like movies because after you finish that movie, you can move on to a completely different role Character, in a completely yeah. different like set. But when you're doing a TV series, you know you have a job every single week. Mm -hmm. And you get to really get into that character right. because you're doing so many episodes and you're constantly on set. And it's not right. like after a couple months you're gone. I think it would just be really, really cool to be on a TV show and like get to like really explore your character and go through the, all these things with with the character like really be them but also yeah. like being in different movies and stuff really interests me like getting to play in all kinds of genres and and roles and stuff like that i don't know i know like i would honestly be so happy and content with either that Same. i end up doing like that's Same. like the dream but like i don't have any specific category of a dream when it comes to that so. right who would you want your on-screen boyfriend to be oh snap <laughs> oh snap okay okay then. Uh, he's not an actor though so i mean Brady Quinn, you know, he played for Notre Dame. My family, they're Notre Dame fanatics. Love to meet some Brady Quinn. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say, I feel like Zach Efron is too much of a, you know, like everyone says that. So I'm gonna go with maybe Liam Hemsworth, or I actually have. I feel like everyone says that too, though. That's true. I actually have a friend that would make a good on screen boyfriend. 
on screen. Ooh, on screen. That? Not <laughs> off screen. I think I know who it is. She's got her little acting acting friend. Um, <clears throat> if I had to pick an on-screen boyfriend, I would definitely pick Nick Robinson. I knew it was coming. He is such, he's so cute. He is, like, you know like, what, he is like cute, Shawn Mendes and Nick Robinson are like my celebrity crushes and they look so similar. Like, you know I think what, they yeah. look similar. Like when Nick Robinson had short oh, hair. I agree. But like, I loved him when he did like, like Kings of Summer, which she was freaking in. Yeah. And like, he kept staring at me and I didn't know who Oh, get out of here. <laughs> and like, Jurassic World, like I just always thought he's so cute. Like, ah! And then when he was in Everything, Everything, like yeah. that's like one of my favorite movies. Now I'm like, shoot, like he took it to another level. And like, shoot. All right, what do you want to accomplish in five years? That's kind of a big question. It's very mm -hmm. filled. I mean, I'd hope to be like constantly working in five years and have like an incredible team. You know, like a great agent and managers like in different states. And I'd love mm -hmm. to be traveling to do filming and I'm not super into commercial work. There's a lot of commercial work around where we are, but I would love to be, you know, like a series regular on something mm -hmm. or even just like guest starring on random things mm -hmm. and like projects that I feel strongly about. Like projects that'll be really fun to work on and maybe like send out a good message and make people laugh or think about it mm -hmm. you know like See. I would love to be working on things all of the time that I'm proud of I don't know where I see myself like at in five years I definitely know what I want I love my life where I am like I love where we live and and I love doing theater and, but obviously right. like acting is like the goal like that's like what I want in my career but also I can see myself doing something film production wise like I would love to go out to LA so maybe that's where I'll be in five years yeah. at least like just traveling there being there for a while yeah. but yeah I would love to be like doing the same thing like movies yeah. or TV show or even commercial work or whatever I can really find and I I really want to be a casting director like if yeah. I could do one thing with my film major right now I would really want to be a casting really? director I have a goal in five years. I want to have an on-screen or on-stage kiss. I've never had a stage kiss. Like, Nor I've never, I. Like, <laughs> I've done, like, so much theater and, like, a little film, and I've just, like, never gotten that. I just think that's, like, a goal as an actor, you know? Really? I haven't yet. I feel like it's coming. It's always coming. I feel like it's coming. <laughs> Alright, so as for the ones that we added, these are a few of them. And what's your favorite theater show that you've been in? We did film or TV show on her channel in that video, so since mm -hmm. I do more theater, you can say which what our favorite theater show. My favorite theater show that I've done is Hairspray, and I actually did it my freshman year of high school at my in my drama club, but it was so good. Like We had a really, really good cast that year. It was really, really fun with a great director, so that was my favorite theater nice. show that I've ever done. I played Tammy. It's in Hairspray. I haven't really done theater. I mean, I've done a couple really small things, but theater's just not for me. I really liked Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. A little show? Yeah, nice little show. All right, the next question, why do you love acting? Like this can get really uh, deep or it can be a very simple question. Yeah, I don't want to like get super into it. No. I would say I love acting and like it's my passion because um, over the years it's just something that I've really realized that I enjoy doing. It's something I love like playing different characters and experiencing different emotions and experiences and experiencing different experiences. But I just like, I'm a very like emotional and adventurous person in general. Same. I just love like exploring things and like um, trying to relate to people and stuff mm -hmm. and I feel like that's kind of what makes me love acting and I also just like love movies like I just always admire every aspect of movies and that's why I'm a film major and also why I want to be an actor because I've always just admired the craft of like acting and being being different characters and just how people can like reach through so many boundaries and can like inspire people or scare people through like acting mm -hmm. like I just think that's so cool your answer is probably pretty much like what I would have said. You would have said. But um, as she said, I'm very like adventurous and I love to try new things and I like to try things out of my comfort zone. I love to see like the different characters that I'm playing and like feel their life out. I just love every aspect of acting and every aspect of being on set and learning new things and meeting new people 
and it's like it's a passion. Everyone has something they're passionate for. Yeah. It's just something you can't explain. You right. Know? It's something you can't explain. Sorry, I keep and, moving the camera. Uh, <laughs> Most embarrassing moment on set or on screen. Wait, no, that's the same thing. Most embarrassing moment on set or on stage. I always embarrass myself everywhere I go. It's not like that embarrassing, but we were filming a really dramatic scene for a movie I was in and I was like I had to drink water during the scene and it just all like started going down my chin in the middle of the scene and it was like <laughs> going onto my shirt. Um, my most embarrassing moment on stage, I don't know if anybody noticed it, they probably did. There's always somebody that notices it but I was in a theater show called Front. It's like a very serious show but I had this part where I had to go up and like say a monologue mm -hmm. um, and, and I had to step off this big tall platform and when I stepped I actually stepped on my mic like we had the ones with like the long wires and somehow I, it wasn't tucked in I stepped on it and completely broke my mic off and then I fell after I stepped on the mic. And oh. so I like tried to pull myself together and I still had to do the monologue, but I didn't have a mic on for my good monologue. And they also filmed it that night. So Seriously. I was like, uh. Okay, so that is all the questions I think for the acting tag. Like I said, we did um, half of the questions on her channel. And you should definitely do this tag yourself and make sure you like mention us in your comments and yes. tweet me and comment and everything and tell us to go watch it. We would love for you guys to do this tag too you can even add on the couple of questions that we did if you want to if you wanna but i hope you guys love this tag as much as we love filming it it was fun doing these questions so give this video a thumbs up if you like it leave me a comment down below telling me any video requests you want to see with mariana in the future any questions in general leave that down below subscribe to this channel for weekly acting videos also make sure you subscribe to mariana's channel the acting health nut she makes great videos about <laughs> nutrition and acting and all that fun stuff so i love you guys thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye. Bye! So this week I'm so so excited to be back finally with the contest winners. I think the final number of submissions I got was 323, which is insane.